Hello Capricorn. This is all about you. This is your daily oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Let's get right into it Capricorn. So this is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, or whatever Capricorn influences your natal chart. You can plug this energy in, but if it don't fit, don't squeeze it. It's not always going to apply. So Capricorn, Capricorn. We're going to start over here on YouTube. We're going to do the full Oracle card spread. There is a link below in the description box to the extended full tarot card spread plus the romance reading for this week. So Capricorn, let's see what's going on with you guys. What's going on with you guys? Let's go. What's going on with you guys? Let's see the crowning energy. God, what is this? It keeps coming out. Watch your words, but upside down. So listen, it's almost like this is the weekend to receive. This is the not weekend. I keep saying weekend. This is the week to receive. This is the week to listen. This is the week to take in information instead of giving it. This is, you're going to hear from somebody or a message is going to come through. Something that has been held up, held up in the ether, blocked up. It's almost like the plug has been uncorked and Capricorn, you're gonna finally get an answer or a response or make some progress. But this is a reception. You're going to have to wait to receive. This is not you going to be able to go, you're not gonna be able to go after this and chase this. So this is listen, watch your words is upside down. So it's not just about what you say, watch what you say, watch what you hear. There could be some hints or some clues coming in, some messages that you need, something that will um, clue you into something. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't say dig, dig, dig too deeply, but I don't feel like you're gonna to have to dig too deeply. There is a little bit of little tidbits of clarification, but they might come in through unex, un, unexpected sources. Um, um, yeah, yeah, they could come in through anywhere. They could come on the breeze. They could come on a traffic sign. This could be just messages from above, but you will be receiving these little tidbits in the air. So uh, be aware of that. And that's your crowning energy. Your crowning energy is watch out for little bits and pieces. So even if things don't come in all at once this week, in other words, they might not come in in the big, like sort of boulder. They might come in in little pebbles, but that's okay because they're all gonna eventually add up. There's definitely an energy of having to piece things together this week. Um, uh, but you know what, not in a frustrating way. I feel like, I feel like you'll know when you get these little tidbits to put it aside and to wait for more, you'll know that things are starting to, they'll come in from different areas is all I'm, all I'm feeling. There's this energy of little tidbits or little hints coming in from different, little, different areas, like all different areas, like a total hundred three, like 360 degrees, little area, like things coming in. Um, and they'll be, they, be adding up having to put something together like a puzzle interesting that's the crowning energy um wait this was upside down there is always enough you might have to be very very conservative with your resources this week and i know that this week wasn't going to be easy for cancerians either but this is piscean energy there might you might feel drained like your energy is low um and this is this is almost like breadcrumbs remember like from uh hansel and gretel trying to find the breadcrumbs home um this is it like having to deal with things bit by bit or um like feeling like there's just crumbs, like you're having to just pick up crumbs, just just deal with, but, but it's not necessarily settling for less. I don't want you to settle for less. It's just this energy of ha being short on resources this week. So you having to really dial it back or tuck it back and just sort of, sort of sit and wait, which isn't a position that you like to be in. This is a very difficult position for you, but there is this energy of, um, um, oh God, um, you know, this could just be little clues or little bits and pieces, almost like, almost like something coming in, but it not being enough, you know, a message coming in, but it not being enough, a text coming in, but it not being enough, just like little tidbits that don't make up for the sort of loss that was associated with them. If that makes any sense to you. Mm, interesting energy, interesting energy coming through for you. Okay. Capricorn, let's keep going. Okay. Okay. 
uh, know your worth. Yeah, this is definitely don't defile yourself and don't hide who you are. This is also a sense of something stinking, trying to trying to be nice and trying to be pretty, trying to cover up the stink. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying? This is like little tidbits, little, little, little crumbs coming in. This is all about somebody giving you little crumbs, expecting you to live off of crumbs when you know that you deserve more. Remember what you're worth because this is almost like a stinker. A stinker that's trying to smell like a rose, a stinker that's trying to smell like a flower. A situation that you're trying to make it work and don't try too hard because this is a situation that just isn't working. There's not enough there for you to make it work, Capricorn. So don't defile yourself or reduce yourself because these are just little bullshit tidbits. Like when this card is upside down, it doesn't have the energy. You know, you might be hearing things, but it doesn't have the energy to really put it upright again or do anything significant. And there's this, you know, there's always enough. There isn't enough. There isn't enough here. There isn't enough emotion to make something work or sustain something. There isn't enough passion. There isn't enough resources or there isn't enough of an offer or an energy or momentum or interest. There isn't enough of an interest. So don't try to defile yourself or... Don't force it. Remember how I said, if it doesn't fit, don't squeeze it. Please don't try to take these breadcrumbs and make a feast out of them this week, Capricorn, because it's just, it's going to be you diminishing who you are and trying to take a really stinky situation. It's a stinky situation. That's what it is. This stinks. And it almost, it almost is worse if you try to like put cologne on it and make pretend that it doesn't. Because now you have that disgusting, I want to choke. Oh my God, why is he wearing that much axe? My eyes are burning. And you have the stink that you can still smell underneath. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it, you'd rather just deal with what it is. Like what the situation really is. Instead of something coming in to try to gloss it over. Um, time for a deep dive. This is something to do with love. This is a romantic situation. Bottom line, but you've ended up single. There's independence here. Claim your independence. Instead of like love yourself, this is what it's saying when these two cards come out together. Love who you are and love yourself and love your life as it is right now. There is an opportunity or a temptation to settle for crumbs this week. Do not. Do not settle for less. Do not settle for little tidbits. Do not settle for snack size. Do not settle, please. So in other words, I could make the prediction right now that there is an energy coming in or you might be getting some offer from somebody that you've been waiting to hear from. You might be getting an opportunity from somebody that that um, that 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 left you or dumped you or moved on from you or or maybe even laid you off. But the bottom line is it's not going to be enough. Don't and don't settle. Don't settle. You have to love yourself this week. You have to remain, take, maintain your own sense of love, maintain your own sense of uh, self. Um, this could be you, you being single. Stay strong and stay firm and stay powerful in that single. Do not, do not try to make something. And I do feel almost this heart wrenching need to want to, uh, to get, want to get really excited over this opportunity. But it's not enough. It's not enough. And I feel like you'll know that it's not enough. But at the same time, you may have been hungry for so long. You're trying to make a feast out of crumbs. And, and please don't do that. Take time out. This is trying to push through or force something that doesn't want to happen. This is an energy of misplaced bear, of, of trying to bully through something that really is a waste of energy, of feeling drained, of just don't, don't do it kind type, type of thing. Take time out uh, when you're supposed to be relaxing and you're supposed to be resting. Whatever situation you were here, it's like, we were on a break, you know? It's like, you're supposed to be on the break. You're supposed to stay on the break. Don't try to, don't, don't call for God's sake. Don't, don't call. Don't call them. Let them call you. And even if they call you, um, maybe don't respond right away. Don't answer right away. Like, see what message they leave. You know, if it's just a hi, guess what? It's not enough. You're not here for an appetizers. You're here for a goddamn five-course meal. And if that's not what they're going to offer to you, then it's not enough. And you should not be wasting your precious energy. Why are you not relaxing? Oh, that's right. You're Capricorn and you don't like to relax. And I get it because relaxing is not, um, 
It doesn't feel good for you. It doesn't feel healthy. So here's the thing. Just don't put energy into this situation. Whatever this situation is, you're supposed to be on a break. Don't push too hard this week. Pushing too hard to week this week is really just going to break you. There's this energy of be very happy right now with what you have. Um, be happy with who you are. Be happy with where you are in your life. Self-contentment is the secret to success this week. Okay, let's keep going. More energy for Capricorn. Take a leap of faith. Interesting. But you know what the leap of faith is? It's in the nothingness. It's in the silence. That's what you really need to be taking the leap of faith in. I, I'm letting you know that right now. It's, it's not this energy of, it's this energy of healing. It's this energy of getting back into alignment and balance with yourself. It's take this leap of faith and take the leap of faith away from what was, what might be coming back to revisit you from your past this week, Capricorn, because have faith in the in-between, have faith in that position of being uncomfortable, have faith in it, because that is what you're supposed to be doing right now. You're supposed to be taking time out. You're supposed to be relaxing. You're supposed to be more focused on home and hearth and taking care of you and your family and getting back on your feet and healing. That's what you're supposed to be. Please have faith in that. Don't have faith. <clears throat> don't, don't leap backward. There's going to be a temptation to leap backward of like, oh, yeah, because it feels better. You know, it, it feels better. What was in the past, something in the past feels better, but it was not enough. And I don't want you to make it, try to make it, force it to be enough when it was never enough. Because there is definitely this energy of it was never enough. Don't try to force it. Yeah, this is, this is disappointed love. This is heartache. This is heartbreak. You are never alone. You were left alone. You were abandoned somehow. Now, this doesn't necessarily have to be romance. It could be like you lost a job. You were put out. Your business partner left you. Now you're broke. Something like that. That this is an energy of you have been left alone or you feel alone. You know, you feel like you've been abandoned. And the energy, the temptation this week is to, because breadcrumbs are coming in. These little tidbits are falling from the sky. But you know what? They're not offerings. They're not, they're not sustenance. There's like, like someone, like a bird taking a shit on you from above. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what it is. It's not, it's not this abundance coming your way. It's going to be little tidbits. And you know what? Take it for what it is. That's the message. There's an energy here of heartbreak. Somebody from your past. Somebody, mm-hmm. Sweet results await. No. This is once again, compromised energy. This is, you still have more work to do. And, and that work is primarily on yourself or this person still has more work to do on themselves. So if they come back now, it's going to be out of desperation and not wanting to be alone. Or if you make that call and you call that person or you decide to go back to that old job, it's not going to be because it's the right the choice. It's, it's sort of that you're, 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 you're wanting to go back to what you know, instead of move forward, you have to keep working solo. You know, there is this energy of no, not working out this week. Sweet results await. No, you're still working. You're still in work mode. So if this, if there's, yeah, somebody still has to work on themselves. That's the energy coming through. Now is a lucky time. So this is, this is the ability to multiply your abundance, um, but it's facing in the opposite direction from all of these things. And that's how you multiply your abundance. You keep moving forward. So um, this is fertility. You could be finding out that you're pregnant or this could be about fertility, having been disappointed time and time again and feeling like you're never going to get pregnant. But actually somehow in terms of fertility, breaking, breaking through, family, getting back together with your family, having family come in, having being around your family. In other words, be around those people that you can rely on and depend on. This is also um, make sure that you don't want to rush things because remember in the remember in the story of the tortoise and the hare, there is that energy of the hare was so focused on what everybody else was doing, especially the tortoise. They, it, that the hair lost track of itself and sort of lost track of lost self-control, um, um, took its eyes off what it was supposed to be focused on, which was just the race 
and enjoying itself. Instead, it was looking at what everybody else had. So this could take a huge chunk out of your abundance if you just compare yourself to others. Please don't compare yourself to others this week, Capricorn. This is your time to relax and just let things happen to you. Um, yeah, and don't try to make more of it. Don't try to make more of it than what it is. You still have work to do. This is your grounding energy. I want to pull one more card for the grounding energy for Capricorn. Capricorn, and then I'll flip, I'll flip the video around. Capricorn. One more, one more card for energy for Capricorn. Energy for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. Oh, the little baby bunnies. Now is a lucky time. You know, it's funny that this card comes out with all these other warnings, but this is good because A, this is a good message for you to hear, but also B, there's actually a lot of abundance in your life. And if you stop looking back or praying for things to come around that uh, in, in the way that you think they should, you know, it's like, it's almost like self-deception this week, attempt, um, being tempted to self-deceive this week. You know, it's like, be, because you decided what you wanted things to look like and you might get little, little breadcrumbs of what it, like, like leading you toward what, toward what you think it was supposed to look like, but really where are you being led to? You're being led to the witch's hut and she's going to eat you. Like think Hansel and Gretel, right? Those breadcrumbs are supposed to lead you home. So you have the opportunity this week to just not leave home. Don't go out there. You're, there's plenty of abundance just where you are. And let things come to you. And take them for what they're worth. If they're just a little tidbit, all right, put it aside. Yeah, trust in divine detours is also in reverse. So don't go anywhere. Don't make any moves this week, Capricorn. This is not the week to make a big move. Your leap of faith is in staying still. And that's hard for you. I get it. So keep yourself busy. Keep yourself busy by working with your family and being at home. Hold on. Let me turn this uh, reading around. Hold on. Okay. So there you go. There you go. Um, don't rush things. Don't rush things. You have two cards on either side saying don't rush. You still have work to do and that work has to do with some sort of family situation. So don't make any quick moves this week. Now, you don't necessarily like quick moves. So why would you be tempted to make a quick move? Why? Because it's something like, in other words, there is a sense of lack, a sense of waiting or a sense of pining. So there's this energy of you maybe leaping on something because it makes you feel better. It makes you feel like things are progressing. You have to love yourself this week. That's your primary though. Love your heart space because there is definitely, your, your relationship now is with yourself. Even if you're in a healthy relationship, you have to take care of yourself this week and take that leap of faith in not moving. I know that, that that's counter to your nature. It doesn't mean that you have to sit and do nothing. It's not like you have to sit and put your feet up. Though for some of you that might be. But there is an energy of, hey, do things differently. Take that leap of faith in the stillness. Don't jump on the first tidbit that comes around. Because honestly, it's just leading you toward um, something false. Something that is dressed up to look better than it is. It's not going to be enough. It's not going to be substantial. I'm going to go into this deeper, further, extend the reading, maybe articulate exactly what this is coming back to you or where the breadcrumbs are leading. But definitely, uh, we're also going to go into a romance release, um, reading as well. So hopefully I will see you guys over there.